I made a YouTube short about this. <clears throat> Jimmy Buffett, Tales from Margaritaville, Fictional Facts and Factual Fictions. I found this on Sunday, which was two days ago. Today is Tuesday. I found it on Sunday. Uh, for $3 at the thrift store, just sitting on the shelf, because a lot of resellers are book resellers, don't know what they're doing, and they're either lazy or they don't know what books to look for, and it was just sitting there for $3, sold it for $49.99 plus shipping, found it on, t on Sunday, photographed it on Sunday, had it listed by, um, actually I think I listed it Sunday, but it sold Monday. And now I'm going to ship it today, Tuesday. So three-day period, turn $3 into $50. And this is in a, a major thrift store that a lot of, of people go to in general, but especially a lot of resellers. I know this because I've seen a lot of resellers in there. I've seen book resellers. I've seen all kinds. And this was just sitting there. And no one apparently knew that it was worth money or wanted it. Um... It's just it's mind blowing to me, but uh, be on the lookout for this kind of stuff. You know, he, uh, when a big time celebrity, whether they are an actor, singer, what whatever it is, uh, when a when a high level celebrity like Jimmy Buffett, and he's he was a massive, well known, huge name, singer slash celebrity, um, when someone like that passes away, especially kind of suddenly out of nowhere. Uh, that or for most people anyway because i heard that he was suffering from something uh and anyway he, when that happens a lot of their stuff whether they have books cds records dvds uh whatever it is it, uh, a lot of their stuff goes up in value dramatically goes up especially the the first couple of weeks after they pass away some some names that are much bigger like him the value of this stuff will stay high for quite a while longer than someone that may have been not they they were they were well known but they weren't quite as big of a celebrity or as big of a name some people would say he's a legend that kind of thing um as jimmy buffett was so and he also he, he not only made a lot a lot of music a lot of records but he also wrote several books so uh that's unusual it's usual usually that you know it's just the music that's worth money like i just sold a vicente fernandez tape lot and a Vicente Fernandez CD lot, even though he died in December of 2021, almost two years ago, some of his stuff is still going for good money. Uh, I sold that those seven CDs for $51.99 plus shipping and uh, six records, oh, sorry, six cassette tapes of his for, I think it was $30, but over 30 bucks plus shipping. So understand that, you know, you don't have to know everything that's going on uh, news-wise, but it's important to know if there is a well-known celebrity that has passed or is ill, that kind of thing. Uh, because as a book and media seller, you are probably more than likely either going to have a copy of a book, of a CD, of a record, or multiple copies, or be able to go out and look for them and know what you're looking for. So so yeah, $4 uh, or $3, $2.99 technically, into... 50 bucks because I knew what I was looking for and I couldn't believe I just came across it um, because I have his other book up for sale but it's damaged unfortunately so we'll see if it sells if it wasn't damaged it probably have already sold um, so yeah so just be aware of this stuff guys it's not rocket science uh, this even has a barcode makes me wonder how long this was on that shelf on that thrift store shelf um, normally when you come across his books you know, in August, this would not have been worth much money. Uh, go back on eBay, on Amazon, look it up and see what it was going for before September. And you'll be able to see that uh, it was a book that you definitely pass on. I know that I came across a lot of his stuff um, over the years. I'm not just CDs <clears throat> and records, but also books as well. So, yeah, so it's exciting, you know, being able to go into a thrift store Buy something for three bucks and then within a day flip it for 50. And I've gotten, you know, because of the amount of years, nine years I've been doing this, I have a lot of information in my head and I know what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm always learning something new though, as well. Doesn't matter how long you've been doing it, keep learning 
and just keep your kind of finger on the pulse of what's going on when it comes to um, your niche for sure. Uh, this was also a first edition. It's a stated first edition, so I put that in the description. But definitely put first edition in the title, which is what I did. I don't know how many other times this book was reprinted, but uh, it does help when it's first edition. And it's in great shape as well. You know, the dust jacket, of course, is here. Uh, the dust jacket's in great shape. It's, it's good to very good condition. There's no pages are intact. There's no markings, underlining, anything like that, writing or whatnot, highlighting, etc. cetera. So, um, so sometimes the money just sit on the shelves. You just kind of know what to look for. And the funny thing is, too, I was only in a thrift store for about 20 minutes. And when you feel that pressure of, of not having that much time, you kind of hone in on stuff as well. Uh, so whether you have a lot of time, hours, or only 20 minutes, just keep your eyes peeled because you never know what you're going to come across. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Take care.